Okay, now you have a brokerage account. Okay, what can I put my money into? Okay, let's talk about market caps. There are four market caps, the three, well, the four main ones, but the three main ones are small cap, mid cap, and large cap. Small cap are companies between 300 million and $2 billion. Mid cap is $2 billion to $10 billion. And large cap or blue chip is 10 billion plus. There's like a mega cap, which is like, you know, like where Apple is at. Those are like, I might be like $100 billion, you know, something, some crazy, because remember I said 10 billion plus, Apple's worth 2 trillion. Uh, that's a whole <laughs> so, other word. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's like another one on top of that, but you know, it's large cap. So those are the caps. And then another thing you might hear for those caps is um, for small cap, you might hear aggressive growth. Um, for mid cap, you might hear growth. And for a large cap, you might hear growth and income. Those are, they're all the same things. I don't know, I do not know why they decided to name them differently, but it, it's, it's all the same thing. So if I use those terms, does that automatically assume that I'm referring to the cap associated with? Yeah, that if you say aggressive, you, it's you code. Okay. Yeah, X equals Y, Y equals X. Yeah. Track. Okay. Yeah. Aggressive growth means small cap. Okay. That's that's what that means. Now let me say this: I am not an investment professional. People can people can lie to you. Remember, well, <laughs> I always say this. I'm glad that I mean I'm not happy it happens. People got screwed. But remember when Wells Fargo went to court for all that stuff because they was lying and giving dead people accounts and all these things. Right. Back before that happened, you my banking advice would be like, well, no, I'm doing this at Wells Fargo. Oh, they breaking the rules. <laughs> I can't make them get caught, you know? So there's always that caveat, right? That, so you know, someone, I mean, people do break the law, right? What's the name? A Ponzi scheme. What's Ponzi scheme? Bernie Madoff. Yep. <laughs> okay. Y'all, everyone should know about that. All right. So those are the market caps. The fourth one is, you know, don't need to go into it, but it's um, international. So not, not just the United States. <laughs> right. Okay, that's it for that one. So those are the four main ones. Then you have uh, the GICS, which is the Global Industry Classification Standard. Those are the people who determine the 11 sectors in the stock market. Corey did not prep for everything, so I'm about to freeze off the top of the head what these 11 sectors are. You have the energy sector, you have the industrial sector, you have the material sector, you have the consumer discretionary sector, you have the information technology sector, you have the financial sector, you have the healthcare sector, you have the communication sector, you have the consumer staple sector, you have the real estate sector, and you have the utility sector. Those are all 11, I got it. And the funny thing about that is, like that might be the order, like when you Google it, that might be like, that's the order that it pops up in. Hey, you put in that word. Because um, on Investopedia, that's the main place I get a lot of my financial information from. I went to, when I pulled up GICS, you know, I went to Wikipedia for that. And they had the same order that Investopedia had for those 11 sectors. <laughs> so I was like, okay, this must be the order people will memorize them. Rememorize. Yes, that's my word, memorize. <laughs> Remember them and memorize them. So those are the 11 sectors. Obviously, this is more stock based, you guys, for investing. It's all right, you know, it's not, you know, real estate type stuff. So that most of you, this is what you need to do. <laughs> okay, and this again, lower, lowest barrier to entry. So again, those are the different uh, assets. I mean, those are different um, sectors that you can invest into for the stock market. Now, there are subsectors. There's like 200 plus of those. No, I don't. The only one I know is like semiconductors <laughs> for IT. That's one. Yeah, that's it. That's one. So there are 11 major sectors. Okay.